Hello, I'm Steve Olson, the manager of training services for Mesa. In this video, I'd like to give you an overview of what you will learn in Mesa's InventorCam 2 and 3 Axis Milling course. In this course, we'll go through several examples and run them through the process from setup to tool pass to post processing. So we'll start with creating the setup in each case. And I already have one created here, so I'll go ahead and edit the setup. You'll see that we'll be able to pick a machine, pick what type of operations, set our coordinate system in the appropriate location and the appropriate orientation, which is very important. Then on the stock tab, we can accurately represent the stock that we plan on using to create this component. The post process tab has a few settings there that we will also talk about what they are and how they impact the design. Then we'll create different types of tool paths, everything from a 2D facing operation and drilling operations and creating templates for those. Also into 3D adaptive and we'll also do some scallop operations. We'll talk about roughing operations and finishing operations. And then at certain times we'll stop and take a look at the simulation of the tool path. So we can make sure that we are seeing what we want to see that we're creating the tool path as we expect them to. We'll talk about some of these settings here in terms of being able to control the speed, also the display of the stock and how to display the tool paths that we're seeing as the simulation progresses. Once we have everything set up the way that we want, we'll go through the process of post processing the tool paths. So I can go to that command or what I typically do is I'll actually go to the setup. I find that a little bit easier and I can say post process here. We'll have to make sure that we have the right post processor for the machines that we have on the shop floor. We'll look at the ones that are standard. We'll also look at locations that we can download at additional ones if those don't exist or if they're not already part of the default machines and post processors listed here. Once we have everything set up the way we want, we can go ahead and post process which will then generate the NC file that we could take out to the shop floor and load onto our machine. All of this and more is covered in Mesa's InventorCam 2 and 3 Axis Milling course. If you'd like to sign up, feel free to give us a call or you can email me directly. My email address is there on the screen. In the description to this video, I'll also leave a link to Mesa's full course catalog and our course schedule. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.